Hi, my name is Luisa Munoz and I'm the Teen Services Librarian here at the Merrick Library. And I'm here to talk to you about hosting an escape room at your own library. So what is an escape room? An escape room is a live action game where players have to solve puzzles and riddles using hints, clues, and strategy to solve the objective at hand. Here are some things to consider before you begin. You have to consider the audience, the time, and the space. For example, I have 40 teens in a two hour program there's four groups of 10 teens at a time. They go in for 20 minutes and then I give myself 10 minutes to reset. When it comes to the prep, I would recommend starting four or five months in advance, doing a little bit at a time. When you're planning, make sure to write everything out. If you write your clues out on index cards, it's a little bit easier to maneuver and find the flow of the game. If you're doing multiple groups, I recommend a reset sheet. A reset sheet will help you and save you time. Like I mentioned before, I give myself 10 minutes. So without that sheet, I'd be a chicken with no head. When you start working on your story, make sure to work backwards. Figure out what is your final objective and what would happen if they don't solve the room. Here are some ideas of clues that I have done in the past. I have done hidden messages in invisible ink. I've made a makeshift bed to hide clues on the boxes. You can use clues on books. Do not hide clues in books because the first thing they do is grab the books and shake it out. You can also do hidden keys without the, in, within the room. Use pig pen or any other type of ciphers and uh, puzzles and riddles. One of the clues that I did do for the invisible ink is use Dumbledore's quote, happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one remembers to turn on the light. This way, they knew to use the black light that they found in the room. As for the materials, I would recommend four to five blocks per game. Use a hasp, this way that you can use one box and have six locks on it. And also, remember that all your locks should be able to be reset. This way, you can use them more than just once. Within the room, make sure you have a location for all your locks and your keys. My suggestion would be a clipboard with some hooks on it so this way they can hand it to you when the game is done. And definitely color coded stickers. Those are my do not stickers. Do not open, do not rip off, do not destroy. So those are some of my tips if you do decide to host your own escape room and I do hope you found them helpful. Alright, bye!